from WDTN. And now in high definition, this is 2 News. Hello, I'm Kelly King with today's WDTN.com webcast. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is expected to update the number of West Nile cases around the country today. So far, nine people have become ill in Ohio, including one each in Clark and Miami counties. A total of 693 cases of West Nile virus have been reported to the CDC prior to August 14th. That includes 26 deaths from California to the Carolinas, with Texas hit the hardest. The newest exhibit at the National Museum of the United States Air Force is scheduled to land in several hours. The space shuttle crew compartment trainer should arrive around 4 this afternoon aboard NASA's Super Guppy aircraft. Crews began making room for the trainer a few weeks ago. It will be housed in the Cold War gallery until the new space gallery is complete. State troopers are investigating after a woman is struck by a car. It happened just before 3 a.m. at State Route 741 and Knoll Ridge Drive in Miami Township. Troopers say the woman got out of her car and tried crossing 741 when she was hit. She was taken to the hospital but is expected to be okay. It's unclear why the woman got out of the car in the first place. Troopers say the driver will not be cited. And it's the first day of school for Huber Heights students, and many will have to find another way to school besides the bus. Facing a shrinking budget, all busing was cut for high school students, and the walking zone has been increased from one mile to two miles around Weisenborn Junior High. Preschool transportation has also been eliminated. And United Rehabilitation Services is asking for your help today so it can reclaim a much-loved member of its family. This is Quackers the Duck. He's a 12-foot inflatable duck who was stolen from outside Butler Auto Bath Saturday. Quackers has a very important job as the ambassador of the URS Rubber Duck Regatta. It's a major fundraiser for local children and adults with disabilities and their families. But it probably weighs about 60 pounds when it's deflated and it has a case and everything, but somebody just cut the ropes and dragged it right out of here. And we were hoping someone would return it, but it's never come back, so we're making a plea to the community. Please help us find Quackers and get it back. URS is offering a prize package to anyone who can help return Quackers. It includes a four-hour limo ride, free car washes for a year, and 100 rubber ducks for the next month's rubber duck regatta. Call 233-12 if you have inf any information where quackers might be. And if you want to read more about this story or any of the day's top headlines, it's all right here for you on WDTN.com. Log on anytime, day or night, for the latest news, weather, and traffic. Again, I'm Kelly King. Thanks for logging on and watching.